How can you give a description of a character in just one or two words and leave a lasting impression on the audience? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. You've heard how to use a description of the character's dress and how that person walks into a room to give insight into his or her personality. There's a third technique to describe your character that I love and I use as much as possible. I got this from Ed Tate. Ed is the 2000 world champion of public speaking. Ed will give a character a title or a label that gives insight into that individual's character. He may use a term like Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky, Attila the Hun, the warden. When you hear those terms, what do you think of? Mr. Happy-Go-Lucky, he's a pretty happy guy. Attila the Hun, probably not the nicest person in the world. The warden, this is a person of authority, probably in a punitive position, doesn't convey a lot of joy or happiness, does it? I use this tool to describe characters in my story who are not the main or central characters, not the hero, not the guru. Could be a bit player in the story who has an important role, but only for a short time. For instance, I might be talking about a teacher that I had in high school, Attila the Hun, my science teacher. What does that convey? He wasn't a very nice guy. He was very authoritative, and I was scared to death of him. He impacted the way I learned science. Again, we don't want to get sidetracked by these long descriptions of side characters. They are important for a short time, but then we need to move past them. This label or nickname technique is perfect. So thanks, Ed Tate, for that great suggestion. Been using it for years. It works great. Now that you have all these ideas on how to create your characters, we'll begin to look into the second C of the seven C's to sensational storytelling, which is circumstances. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.